Hello students, a very good afternoon to all of you. Welcome to another session from Grade Up for all the CLAT aspirants. I hope you people are doing well. Everyone is staying at home, staying safe and uh, not going out much. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, there was a bit of technical issue. So that's the reason I'm a bit late today guys. Uh, but uh, all's well now. I hope you people, I'm audible enough to you all and you people are able to see me. No problems with the audio or video. Just give me the confirmation in the chat box so that I can start the session as soon as possible, guys. Okay, so today's session, guys, it is based on correct usage. Okay, this uh, topic is usually uh, questions based on this particular topic is asked in almost all the law exams. Also, let me tell you um, that this for this to attempt such questions. Okay, you should have the basic concept. You should know the basic concepts of grammar and the usage, which usually comes with reading and everything, uh, regular reading of magazines or newspapers, etc. Okay, now before I start, I would like you to share, like, share and subscribe to the channel for people who are new. Also install the GradeUp app and follow me on that app. You will actually get a lot of free sessions and free questions to practice there as well. So please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you get reg um, regular notifications about such sessions in the future. Okay, so be ready. This is going to be a very productive session for you, all of you. You will actually benefit a lot from this session. So I hope many people have joined in now. So let's start the session, guys. So before I start, I would like you to take a screenshot of this particular uh, screen in front of you because this is the YouTube schedule which you need to follow. And you have to on, be online at these times on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. Okay. On, uh, at 6 p.m. you have to be online on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays because you, uh, you will be getting the legal awareness session on these days. On Saturdays and Sundays you have to be online at 8 p.m. for analytical reasoning. So it's better please take a screenshot of this. And all these sessions are free on YouTube. You will get to learn a lot uh, from YouTube sessions as well. So let's start the session today, guys. Now, let me tell you the directions are something like this. It says choose the option which, in which the usage of the word is contextually and grammatically correct. Okay. So this is the word which says rough. There are five options given here. You've got five sentences in each option. You've got one sentence in each option. You have to read the sentence and identify if the sentence is contextually and grammatically correct. Grammatically, which means according to the grammatical concepts, if the sentence is correct or not. Also, contextually means if whether the sentence is right or wrong according to the meaning of the sentence. Does it make complete sense? Does it make proper sense or not? That's what you need to identify. Okay, so let's start the, uh, give me the answers in the chat box, whichever you think. I'll read the sentences out to you. It says, he was sent off to boarding school at the rough age of seven. Okay, it says he was sent off to boarding school at the rough age of seven. B says, there is a rough competition to join the special branch. C says, it takes at least six years to rough a doctor. D says the local team had a bad reputation for playing rough and E says he, he looked like a rough but his words were considered and his tone contemplative. A, B, C, D, E. Which do you think is contextually and grammatically correct? Grammatically correct. You say the local team had a bad reputation for playing rough. Some people are saying B, some are saying D. So I will discuss the answers as well. Just a minute, guys. Guys, I will be looking at your YouTube chats as well. Uh, 
and if you have any doubts queries we'll be taking care of that great guys so let me explain this to you the first sentence says he was sent off to boarding school at the rough age of 7 here the usage of rough is incorrect you cannot say rough you can either say at an early age of 7 or you can also say at the tender age of 7 okay early age of 7 or tender age of 7 so a the usage is incorrect there b says there is a rough competition to join the special branch you cannot say rough competition you can say tough competition so that's the reason b is also wrong c says it takes at least 6 years to rough a doctor to rough a doctor you cannot say rough a doctor you can either say to become a doctor or to train a doctor suppose to become or train can come in place of rough d says the local team had a bad reputation for playing rough absolutely correct okay so playing rough means probably they were not very um, they did not have the sportsman spirit in playing the game they used to rough up the boys of the uh, they used to rough up the opponents okay so that's what it means the local team had a bad reputation for playing rough probably they were abusing each other as well so that's what it means the sentence means that they were playing rough <coughs> he says he looked like a rough but his words were considered and his tone contemplative you cannot say he looked like a rough but you can say he looked like a rogue probably you know who a rogue is rogue is someone who is not composed who is in a kind of a rebellious who has a rebellious attitude one we call belligerent so he looked like a rogue he looked like a rogue like if we could also call him rowdy okay another meaning of rogue could be rowdy he looked like a rogue but his words were considered words were considered means his words were composed and his tone was contemplative soft and he was soft spoken that's what it means okay so i hope you get the answer the correct answer is d guys whosoever said d absolutely right well done let's move on to the next question okay the word is chief now look at the usage of chief if it's contextually and grammatically correct first sentence says a her health is what matters the cost of the treatment is of chief importance okay b says our chief concern right now is getting all these goods out onto the shelves okay c says they had chief breakthroughs but the real success eluded them d says the english language does not contain the chiefs to express the sorrow i feel e says she was the chief of her circumstances rather than the master of her fate okay so which do you think is the correct answer which is grammatically and contextually correct what do you think okay few people are saying b let me get more answers which do you think is the correct answer here first option says her health is what matters the cost of treatment is of chief importance what do you think is the problem in the first sentence what do you think is the problem in the first sentence okay some are saying e also guys i'm looking at the chat so few people are saying e some are saying b let me explain again guys many a time you when you attempt questions it so happens that you people are able to attempt questions you people attempt questions but whenever you falter whenever you choose the wrong option you are not able to understand why exactly was your option wrong so that's where we come in. We are here to guide you, teach you and also give you an analysis as to if an option is incorrect. Why exactly is it incorrect? You should actually know that only then you won't make mistakes in the future. Guys, making mistakes is not a problem, but do not repeat the same mistakes. Okay, you should not repeat the same mistakes. You can make different kinds of mistakes. No problem. Okay. Uh, let's discuss this question. The first sentence says her health is what matters. Okay, which means her health is of primary importance. That is what matters. The cost of treatment is of chief importance. 
that is not chief what is chief her health is main her health is of chief importance okay the chief importance is health but the cost is not chief importance it could be secondary so the first uh, option is contextually wrong you can say her health is what matters the cost of the treatment is of secondary importance you cannot say chief importance okay b says our chief concern right now is getting all these goods onto the shelves this is perfectly all right the sentence is okay no problem with it so whoever said b was absolutely correct guys okay congratulations well done okay so it actually means the chief concern what is our main concern right now is to get all these goods onto the shelves onto the shelves means in the shops in the supermarkets in the stores that's what it means so the sentence is okay c says they had chief breakthroughs but real success eluded them do you know eluded what is the meaning of eluded eluded is something which which wherein you get quite close but still you are not able to achieve success okay you are still get close you are not able to achieve success that is eluded so the meaning says they had chief breakthroughs if they had chief breakthroughs or they had major breakthroughs probably but but real success eluded them they could not get real success so you cannot say they had chief breakthroughs you can probably say they had minor breakthroughs they had minor breakthroughs matlab choti moti kamyabe kamyabi mili unko lekin real success actually eluded them okay so minor can be used major cannot be used you cannot say they had major breakthroughs even then the sentence will become contradictory cannot say major but you'll say minor d says the english language does not contain the chiefs to express the sorrow i feel what does the person want to say there are no words in the english language which can express the sadness which i feel so instead of chiefs you can say words here the english language does not contain the words to express the sorrow i which i feel the sorrow i feel and he says she was the chief of her circumstances rather than the master of her fate okay she was the chief of circumstances rather than master of her fate which means uh, she was not fortunate fate did not um, uh, always favor her fate never favored her so you can actually say she was the victim of her circumstances you cannot say chief but you can say she was the victim of her circumstances rather than the master of fate so i hope you understood the correct answer is b why are the rest of the options wrong i've explained that to you this explanation is needed for you each and every time you attempt any kind of questions guys remember what we tend uh, used to do is what we uh, are usually prone to do is we look at the answers whichever answers is correct we do not bother about the rest of the options which are wrong and we simply move on okay that is the wrong approach remember whenever for whichever competitive exam you are appearing uh, remember that always whichever answer is correct you have to remember that at the same time the options which are wrong why exactly are they wrong you have to reason okay unless you find the reason about um, unless you find the reason why the other options are wrong you will keep making mistakes okay so please remember you can make different types of mistakes you cannot repeat the same mistakes let's move on to the next question again it says choose the option in which the usage of the word is contextually and grammatically correct the word is road so i'll read out the options for you whichever option you feel is right just uh, select that option okay yes eluded means escape from neo is asking eluded meaning of eluded absolutely correct neo it means escape from something that is eluded yes these types of questions will also help in clat 2020 obviously this will help that's the reason i'm taking such questions guys if it was not to the context it was not related to your exam there is no point of taking such questions okay such sessions so pay attention in this particular on these options first says snow and ice have left many road 
treacherous and motorists are want to drive slowly. B says Julie has signed up for roads on English and French this year. C says the burglars were careful not to leave any roads behind them. D says my car was in the garage for a week but it's now back on the road. And E says knowing that she might get late for office, she accelerated into the fast road. Which of these options, which option do you think is the correct in these? Okay, I've started getting answers. A few people are saying B, some are saying A as well. Okay, E for egg. Okay, let's look at D. Some are saying D as well. Okay, let's take up the options here. <clears throat> Now snow and ice have left many road treacherous and motorists are warned to drive slowly. Why is this sentence incorrect? Because you have many and after many you should have the plural noun. You have, should have the plural noun. So you cannot say road but you have to say roads. But you do, did not have roads here. You had road which was singular in number. That's the reason the first option is incorrect. B says, Julie has signed up for roads on English and French this year. She has not signed up for roads, but she has signed up for courses on English and French. Okay, courses on English and French. So that's the reason B is also incorrect. C says, the burglars were careful not to leave any roads behind them. Okay, the burglars were careful not to leave any roads behind them. It doesn't make sense. You could rather write tracks behind them. The burglars were careful not to leave any tracks behind them. Okay. Why they did not leave tracks? Because they did not want to get caught. Obviously to escape being caught, they did not leave any tracks. Or you can say even trails is appropriate. They did not leave any trails behind them. Trails that could help the police identify the burglars. Okay. That's what it means. D says, okay, so C is incorrect. D says, my car was in the garage for a week, but it's now back on the road. Absolutely correct. Whosoever said D, well done, guys. You are absolutely correct. And E says, knowing that she might get late for the office, she accelerated into the fast road. She did not accelerate into the fast road, but the fast lane. You can write lane in the E option. That's the reason E is also incorrect. So D is absolutely correct grammatically and contextually. Okay, guys, please pay attention. Please keep liking and sharing the videos because that is a kind of motivation we as teachers get so that most people, most aspirants can make uh, the most use of such sessions, which is very important. And also for people who are new, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon for notifications uh, of such sessions in the future as well. Let's move on. Okay, next question. It says choose the, choose the option which, in which the usage of the word is incorrect or inappropriate. Again, until now, remember guys, reading the directions in each question is very important. Why exactly is it important? Because many a time you have to select the correct option. Many a time you have to select the incorrect option. Now look here, it says choose the option in which the usage of the word is incorrect or inappropriate. Until now, we selected the option which was correct. Okay. But from this question onwards, we have to select the option which is incorrect. So the word is run. Look at the option. It says I must run fast to catch up with him. B says our team scored a goal against the run of play. C says you can't run over him like that. D says the newly released book is enjoying a popular run. And he says this film is a run of the mill production. So which do you think is incorrect or inappropriate contextually or grammatically? What exactly do you think? A, B, C, D, or E. Right. I'm looking at the chats. A few people are saying A. 
Some are saying B, C. I got almost all options in your chats, guys. Now, probably this was comparatively difficult uh, than the other questions which we attempted till now. Now it says, I must run fast. This is absolutely correct. Fast is the adverb. It's giving you information about run, uh, run which is a verb. Run is a verb, it says, I must run fast to catch up with him. Absolutely right. A few people think that it should have been run fastly. Now, let me tell you, fastly is no word in English. There is no word called fastly in English. But you can say run slow. Is this correct? No. You should say run slowly. This is correct. But run fastly is wrong. You have to say run fast. So understand slowly is as slow becomes an adverb by adding ly. Whenever you add ly to slowly, it becomes an adverb. But fast becomes an adverb without taking ly. Without ly, fast becomes an adverb. So run fast is correct. However, run slowly is correct. Okay. So first is right. B says, our team scored a goal against the run of play. Now run of play is a kind of an idiom, which is absolutely correct. Our team considered a goal against the run of play. Absolutely right. What does it actually mean? Suppose there are two teams, team A and team B. So what happened is team A has scored almost five goals. And uh, this is the last minute of the game. The team B strikes a goal at the last minute of the game. So what has team B done? They have scored a goal against the run of the play. Run of play. Okay. The match was about to end, but just before the end, they actually scored a goal. So that's what it means. Scoring against the run of play means scoring something at the last moment. That is score. Um, against the run of play. C says you can't run over him like that. You can't run over him like that. You know what run over means? Run over is a phrasal verb. Run over means a phrasal verb. Now run over basically means uh, to run over with a car. Okay, if you hit someone and you run over with your car, you crush him with your car, that is running over. So it says you can't run over him like that. It doesn't make sense. You could probably say you can't run after him like that. Okay, so C is incorrect. C is incorrect. Let's look at the D option. The newly released book is enjoying a popular run. Absolutely right. Enjoying a popular run, which means it is a hit among the readers. The newly released book is actually a hit or top selling book among the readers and he says this film this film is a run of the mill production run of the mill production means an average movie this actually means it is an average movie that is run of the mill production whenever you talk about a movie and you say it's a run of the mill production it means it's kind of an average movie or a mediocre movie so he is also correct but you have to select which one, the option which is incorrect. So the incorrect option is D. So D will be the answer if such kind of questions appears in your exams. Okay. Let's move on to the next question. Again, it says choose the option in which the usage is incorrect or inappropriate. Which of these is incorrect or inappropriate? We have to select that. A says the police fired a round of tear, tear gas shells. B says the shop is located round the corner. C says we took a ride on the merry-go-round. D says the doctor is on a hospital round. E says I shall proceed further only after you come around to admitting it. So which do you think is the correct answer? Give me your answers in your chat box guys quickly so that I can discuss this answer again. Right, few people are saying A, I've got D, C as well. 
A few people are saying, see here. Let's look at the explanation carefully, guys. Guys, you have to quickly attempt questions in your exams. You won't have much time, okay? Just read it and think carefully. It's all about focus, guys. Trust me, if you want to improve your accuracy in your exams, you have to improve your, improve your focus, your concentration. Okay? In these times of lockdown, you people are staying at homes. It's always better you meditate a bit. You relax yourself a bit. Let me give you a quick tip to improve your memory power, to improve your concentration. These days what happens is due to so many technological advancements, we spend a lot of time in front of our screens, probably laptops, phones and stuff like that. It's all okay. Technology is there to help you. But remember, before sleeping, put your phone aside at least half an hour before sleeping. What we usually tend to do is we keep on using our phones and until and unless you are completely drowsy and you are off to sleep and you are uh, uh, off to crash in the bed, until unless until then you do not leave your phones okay so that's not the way you have to relax your mind guys let me tell you the famous scientists in the whole world like uh, newton and einstein and many other scientists who actually achieved success do you know what exactly they were doing they actually what how did newton um, uh, discover the law of gravitation he was simply sitting under a tree. He was not doing anything at all. He was relaxing his mind. So relaxation of the mind is extremely important. But these days we actually suffer from so much stress, depression and we spend a lot of time in front of our screens. And let me tell you, these days people actually live for others. They do not live for themselves. First of all, learn to live for yourself. Do you know what is the reason of depression among youngsters? Mostly, you actually post a photo on Facebook or Instagram. You do not, did not get sufficient likes. You get depressed. So, do you actually think this is a cause of depression or a cause of stress? Okay, so you are actually very obsessed about yourself and you people actually think what others think about you. So, first of all, you have to learn to be at peace and calm and love yourself. Do not ever think what others would say, what others would think. Only then you can achieve success. Okay, live for yourself. You have to be selfish to some extent. Let me tell you that. <coughs> okay, and let me tell you for increasing, I was talking about memory. To increase your memory power, you have to keep your phones aside before sleeping, at least half an hour before sleeping, even if you're not sleepy. Okay, you can relax your mind. Relaxing your mind doesn't mean you go off to sleep um, out of 24 hours. You sleep for 20 hours is not relaxing your mind. Relaxing your mind is when you keep your eyes wide open and then you keep on thinking. Let the thoughts flow. Whichever thoughts come to your mind, let them flow. What would happen is like you are taking the session right now. Once you are in a relaxed state of mind, you'll think about the session and reflect what I taught you. So these things will actually help you increase your memory power, your concentration. Okay, try to meditate at least for 20 to 30 minutes every day. Just close your eyes and relax your mind. Trust me, one month down the line, you would get, uh, you, you can actually feel the benefits of it. Okay, just one month down the line. Just practice these things. I'm sure you people will actually improve, can improve your concentration and your focus as well. Okay. Right, let's, let's discuss this particular question, guys. It says the police fired a round of tear gas shells. This is absolutely correct. Fire a round of tear gas shells. Okay, so that's completely okay. You can write this. B says the shop is located around the corner. This is also correct. Okay, it's around the corner. Guys, many a times, let me tell you, people do not know the meaning of around and round. First of all, let me tell you, round is a shape and around is a kind of, you could say, circumambulation. Okay, suppose this is something, the path around it, this is around. Okay, 
if you are moving around something that is around but round is simply a shape but many a time in place of around people also say round so that is completely okay that's not a problem so when you say the shop is located round the corner this is absolutely correct no problem in the sentence c says we took a ride on the merry go round do you know what is merry go round merry go round is uh, like you must have been to fairs jaise mela kehte hain hindi mein merry go round is a kind of a carousel which actually rotates you that is merry go round okay you find it in fairs or melas so this is absolutely correct c is also correct d says the doctor is on a hospital round this is also correct because it means to say the doctor is going for a survey of the hospital absolutely right e says i shall proceed further only after you come around to admitting it i shall proceed further only after you come around now come around is not appropriate come around is not appropriate here uh, the usage is not correct okay i shall proceed further after you come around to admitting it now come around means you have already admitted something so you cannot say come around to admitting it okay you cannot say come around so the usage here is incorrect you cannot select e is actually wrong whoever said e is the correct answer because you have to give the incorrect or inappropriate answer okay so e is absolutely right Let's move on to question number six. The word is buckle. A says, again, you have to give the option which is incorrect or inappropriate. A says, after the long hike, our knees were beginning to buckle. B says, the horse suddenly broke into a buckle. C says, the accused did not buckle under police interrogation. D says, sometimes an earthquake when make a bridge buckle. And E says, people should learn to buckle up as soon as they get into a car. which do you think is the correct answer here guys give me the answers in your chat boxes and let me see which you have which option do you select guys uh, hb krishna you asked something which is off the topic you are saying how can we see the sun and planets or other satellites when we are in space space is vacuum and light can't be visible in vacuum so how can we see those obviously there is vacuum but even stars have their own light stars have their own light so their lights actually we can see from earth as well obviously so that's not a pro- even when there is light wherever there is light you can see light even through vacuum light can be seen that's not a problem so that is acts as a medium to light okay so for detail you have to get into the physics astrophysics and stuff like that probably you can research about that on google as well okay let me explain this question guys it says <clears throat> after a long hike our knees were beginning to buckle this is absolutely correct because buckling means it was starting to pain after a long hike you know what hike is it's walk an adventurous walk our knees were beginning to buckle buckle actually means it started to pain okay our knees started to pain a lot uh, ache a lot okay b says the horse suddenly broke into a buckle now here the um, usage is incorrect you cannot say the horse suddenly broke into a buckle you have to say the horse suddenly broke into a probably trot or broke into a buck you can even say buck buck is something wherein the horse suddenly trots off that is a trot or buck okay c says so this is incorrect usage this is correct c says the accused did not buckle under police interrogation buckle means he did not give any information he did not uh he did not disclose any secrets even after police interrogation so this is absolutely correct d says sometimes an earthquake can make a bridge buckle can make a bridge buckle basically means uh buckle actually means shake 
Okay, an earthquake can make a bridge shake. Absolutely right. This is also correct. People should learn to buckle up. Okay, buckle up means wear the belts as soon as they get into a car. This is as act actually correct. So the correct answer is B. You have to select the one which is incorrect or inappropriate. So the correct answer is B. Okay, so that is correct. Because you have to say which is incorrect. So I said the correct answer is B. Okay, let's move on to question number 7. Question number 7 says you will, the word is file. It says you will find proper, uh, find the paper in the file under C. You will find the paper in the file under C. B says I need to file an insurance claim. C says the cadets were marching in a single file. D says file your nail before you apply nail polish and E says when the parade was on a soldier broke the file. Which do you think is the correct answer for this one guys? A, B, C or D? Or E? Which do you think is the correct answer? Which of these is incorrect to be precise? Which of these sentences are incorrect or inappropriate grammatically or contextually? Okay, few people are saying C, some are saying B and E. I, again, I've got almost all options from your options I can see in your chat boxes. It says you will find the paper in the file under C, which is absolutely correct. You will find the paper in the file. There is a file which is kept probably in a shelf under the C section. Okay, so that is absolutely okay. A is absolutely correct. B says I need to file an insurance claim. I need to file an insurance claim. This is also correct. Okay. You might have heard of such usages if you are in constant reading or you listen to someone. C says the cadets were marching in a single file. Single file means single line. This is also absolutely right. D says file your nail before you apply nail polish. Okay. You know what filing the nail means? Okay. Which means you got a small kind of instrument which with which uh, usually ladies scratch the nails so that they sharpen the nails in order to wear nail polish. So file your nail before you apply nail polish. Absolutely correct. And E says when the parade was on a soldier broke the file. Now here the usage is incorrect. You cannot say broke the file. You could probably say he broke the rank. Okay. He actually moved from the parade. So he broke the rank so e is absolutely uh, sorry e is wrong so e is the answer for this one because you have to select the incorrect sentence so the answer will be e for this one okay so these were the seven questions for today guys and let me tell you there is a clat course which is being launched okay in that course, I will be giving you details. Uh, in detail, I will be teaching you all the concepts of English so that you can easily solve such questions and improve your accuracy. I would like to explain the highlights of that particular course for whosoever is interested. This is the target CLAT 2020 course. Okay, you will be getting more than 100 live classes according to the new CLAT pattern with interactive quizzes and 3000 plus practice questions. You'll also get more than 12 mock tests for ILET, SLAT and MAH, CET, BALLB. Okay, also for the 2020 uh, season, you'll also be getting topic quizzes, topic wise quizzes and PDFs for revision in each and every subject. Okay, full coverage of current affairs and legal knowledge. So if you are following the courses on YouTube, you already know the faculties which, who have been teaching you. So they would be giving you... Um, the sessions in full detail okay in this particular course there is a greater green card in which you get unlimited access to all mock tests okay which is of three months okay the actual cost is 899 but the offer price now is 699 you'll be getting 12 mock tests covering eyelids slat and maict blb as well okay so these are the highlights of this particular course and I hope you enjoyed the session today. Okay, you were able to benefit from the session. You understood the session well. And if you have any doubts or queries, you can always get, get back to me. 
okay is there any doubts or queries you would like to ask you can write it in the chat boxes guys guys you people come on the chats probably to just take uh, each other's instagram instagram accounts probably because i see many a people many people in the chats many people in the chats uh, start talking chatting with each other rather than following the session guys if you're coming to the session please focus on the session chats and facebook chats and stuff like that can always be done that's not a problem <laughs> The class is over, Vivek Tirki. The class is over. I'm just waiting for your doubts. If you have any doubts or uh, queries, you can always ask me. Guys, in order to read fast, you should actually practice reading uh, newspapers or magazines again. First of all, uh, listen to the news readers on English news channels or on YouTube. I would rather say listen to English news channels like BBC or Fox News and stuff like that. Listening is very important. And then what you'll do is, whenever you are alone, close your room, open the newspaper, sit in front of the mirror and start reading the newspaper loudly. Okay? Loudly and fluently, try to match and copy the news reader which you've listened to on the news channels. Okay? Then you regularly, when you start reading the newspapers in a loud voice, in a loud tone, then you can gradually improve your spoken skills. Okay, you can actually improve your reading habits. Okay, it's all about the eye span. If you want to read fast, let me tell you, in order to read fast, your eyes should be at least two words ahead of your brain. Okay, that's how you can read fast. And reading fast is actually needed in your exams. For reading comprehension passages, for sentence rearrangement, for fillers, closed test, everything. If you have the habit of reading fast and thinking at the same time, okay, multitasking is important. Reading and thinking at the same time is equally important in order to improve accuracy and complete your per on time. Very important. Only then you'll be able to score. Okay, so practice these things. Whenever you are alone, read the newspaper loudly and uh, try to match that of the news readers. Okay, and fast reading that will improve your spoken English. Now, in order to read fast, you have to increase your eye span. As I said, you, your eyes should be two words ahead of your brain. So practice these things. I'm sure you people will actually improve and progress a lot. And keep following such sessions, guys. Do like, share and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any doubts, queries, you can always ask me. I will be regularly coming up with such sessions in the future as well. Please download the Grade Up app for people who haven't because that will really be very effective for you okay and uh, refer this channel to as many aspirants as you can so thank you for watching the sessions guys uh, i hope you liked it i will see you in the next session until then goodbye take care and stay safe